Okay then gang, so now we've got to the point where inside our home screen we have access to the data we need, including the time which we ultimately want to output to the screen. But at the minute this time kind of looks a bit cruddy and I'd like to maybe format this in a different way that looks a bit better. So to do that we're going to use a package from Flutter and that package is called Intel over here. And you can see inside this contains some date formatting and parsing. So we're gonna use a function from this package that is gonna help us format our date in a nicer way. So to install this, we just have to grab this thing right here and we're gonna paste it inside this file. If I minimize this, we wanna to go to pubspec.yaml and we wanna go down to our dependencies and they are here. So let me come underneath the HTTP and paste this one in and save it. Then when I close this off, I'm going to click get dependencies to update that and grab that dependency. So once that's done, I need to go now to our service file, which is this world time. And this is where we're going to format the date. So first of all, we need to import this package. And to do that, I'll say import. And then I'm just going to look for Intel and it's going to be this one down here. Okay. So now down here, we want to use a function provided to us by this package. And all we need to do is delete this stuff, first of all. And then I'm going to say date format, which is provided to us by that package we just imported. Then use a method called JM and then a method on that called format. And inside here, we're just going to pass in now. So I'm going to say now like so, and this is going to format that date into something that looks a lot more palatable. So if I save this now, and if we go to run again, hopefully when we see the new data printed, it's going to be a bit better. I'm going to hot restart, and in a second we should see the time, and there we can see it's now 1.20 p.m. That looks a lot more human readable, and that is ultimately what we're going to output now to the screen. So now we have this data inside the home screen. Let's go about using it inside the template over here. So currently this flat button, this is inside a column. So we're just going to add some more widgets to this column. The first thing I'm going to do is a sized box because that gives us a bit of breathing room between different widgets in a column. We've seen that already. And this is going to have a height of 20 pixels. All right, so the next one I'd like to do is a row. And the reason I'm going to do a row is because underneath this flat button, we're going to have two things next to each other on the same level. And that is going to be a little icon of the flag. And also next to that, we're going to have a text widget, which is going to output the location. Now, we're not going to do the icon just yet, but I'm placing this row there for in the future. What I will do is say children, and then this will be a list of widgets, and we'll do the text widget for now. So this text widget is going to say inside it, the location. So we need to grab the data variable that we have now. And then inside that, we want the location property. So if I save it, we should see that on the screen now. Cool, looking good. But we want to style this a bit better. So I'm going to say now we want a style property inside this text widget. And this will be a text style. And inside here, we want to format the text a bit better. We want to make it bigger for a start. So I'll say font size is going to be 28 like so, 28 pixels. And then also the letter spacing will give a value of about two pixels. Okay, so save that and that looks a bit better. Now, while I'm here, what I'm going to do to this row is go to the main axis alignments and I'm going to set that to be center. So this now is going to sit in the center. So let me save it and preview, and that looks a lot better. Now, I also want to bring this down quite a bit as well. So I think what I'm going to do inside the safe area and surrounding this column is add some padding. So let me go to this action menu and then go to add padding. And then I'm going to change this to instead of all, I'm going to control each side separately. So I'm going to say from and then it's L T R B. So we can control the left, top, right, bottom independently. And the left is going to be zero. The top is going to be 120 pixels. And that's what's going to bring it down quite a bit now. Then the right is going to be zero and the bottom is going to be zero. So if I save it now, hopefully, yep, it brings it down a fair whack. Okay. So then for now, after this row, what is the next thing we want? Well, that is the time itself. But before that, we need another sized box 
if I can do this correctly. So size box, and then in there we'll say the height is gonna be this time 20 pixels again maybe. So let's do 20, and then after that we want a text widget to output the time. So again, this time is now stored on the data, so we need something similar to this. We'll say data, and then it's the time property that we want. So let's save that and see it. Okay, looking good. But this time what we need to do is make this style a bit better. So we'll say style and then text style. And all I'm gonna do is probably just increase the font size. So I'll say font size and we wanna make it nice and large. So 66 pixels, save it. And that is looking pretty good. Okay, cool. So now if we hot restart, we should see the updated time. So 1.24 p.m. in Berlin. And there we go, my friends. We've now formatted our time down here inside, whoops, wrong file. So world time. So we formatted the time right here just by using this JM method and the format method. And we did that using date format by installing and importing this package right here. So we get that updated format, which looks a lot better for the user. Then inside the home screen, all we're doing is outputting this data that we get back from the loading screen. So we receive it here, we store it in data, and then we're outputting that data down here inside the widget tree. So this is all looking pretty good so far. What I'd like to do in the next video is go back to the loading screen because currently the loading screen looks a bit pants. If I hot restart, we'll quickly see it over here. So hot restart, we see the loading screen there. It looks a bit rubbish. I'd like to make that look a bit better by using a spinner. And to do that, we'll use another package for Flutter and we'll see it in the next video.